In this video is all about trigonometry. Now, I will start by saying now we, you know, you have what we call the sine theta cos theta tan theta. So, if you look at this now, there is there is an acronym which we call SOFCA. Now, if you have an angle here, theta, this is opposite to this angle. This is adjacent to the angle. Then this is hypotenuse. Now, if you check sine theta, the sine of this angle is opposite all over hypothesis. So this is X O H. That is X O H. So cat one. Then the cosine co cosine theta is the same thing as this adjacent all over hypothesis. Now if you look at it, cosine theta to cosine theta is equal to adjacent all over hypothesis. Then tan theta equal to what opposite all over adjacent opposite all over adjacent tan theta opposite all over adjacent so that is the explanation of this so we are going to be using this expression often to explain certain things about this so now we are also going to look at we are also going to look at, you have what we call the quadrant. Now this is the first, this is the first, let me, let me write it here, this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. This is the fourth quadrant. Now, we, the, it is numbered like this, this way because it is numbered this way because now counterclockwise is positive angle so that is why it is numbered this way now let's now draw a line called the hypothesis and there is an angle theta here let's say this line is of length one now let's look at now you know this is the x-axis why this is your y axis now this is positive y axis and this is positive x axis so if you if you now let's let's say this length from here to here is your y this length from here to here is your what x and this is plus x and this is plus y <coughs> so with this With this acute angle, you will now look at your sine of that angle, which is sine theta, will now be equal to this is the opposite to this angle, which is y all over 1 is equal to plus 1. So sine is positive at the first quadrant. Then at the second quadrant, you have cos theta, which is equal to what? This is the adjacent to this angle. So you have x all over 1, which is plus x, meaning that cos is adjacent at this angle, at this first quadrant. Now, tan theta is equal to the opposite all over adjacent. So now you have y all over x. And both of them are positive. So it's positive y all over x. So when you check now, you, you, you understand that all is positive here. So all the, the sine functions is positive at the first quadrant. Now, if you also look at this now, let's say for instance, you 
now have um, a line that that is drawn from this. That, that let's say you have a line on the second quadrant. Now this is a positive angle. Now if you check this positive angle now, let's say here now. Now we will be working with here is a is theta. Now from here to here we just give you will be angle 180 minus theta because angle on the straight line is 180. So if you remove this one from the 180 you have this one which is 180 minus what theta so if you have an angle that is more than 90 that is more than 90 or less than 180 that means that angle falls on the second what quadrant it falls on the second uh, quadrant so now if you look at this now now let's look at this triangle that forms that is formed by this acute angle theta now at this direction you have the negative this is your x this is your y axis now along this line you have negative x now let's say from here to here is x so here minus x now here is plus y because it's still positive at the second quadrant you see you have a positive y at the second quadrant now if you look at if you say sine theta is opposite which is plus y this is one now the hypothesis is one so divide by one so you still have plus y so that means sine is positive at the second quadrant then at the top at, the, at that second quadrant let's look at cos theta now cos theta this is adjacent all over hypothesis so what you're going to do is say minus x divide by one so minus x gives you minus so, that, so minus x means that cos theta is negative at the second quadrant then now when you look also look at let's look at tan theta tan theta is equal to what you have opposite all over hypothesis which is plus y divided by minus x so this plus divided by minus you give you minus which is minus y all over x so that means tan theta is negative at the second uh, quadrant now let's look at what happens at the third quadrant so at the third quadrant let's say you draw a line like this now you now rule a line to this place so now the third quadrant is the, uh, the quadrant where the angle is more than 180 but less than 270. This is 270. That is, this is 180. So where the uh, when the angle is more than 180 but less than 270, then you know it falls in the in what in the third quadrant. Now, and the acute angle must be formed with the x axis you see this one it was formed on the x axis when you look at this one it also formed on the x axis so now this is the acute angle theta now if you look at this you have the angle on a straight line which is 180 then plus this angle which is theta so that means from here to here is 180 plus what theta so from here to here is 180 plus uh, theta so but this can also be written from what we have gathered so far this plus y can also be written as sine 180 minus theta and this minus can be written as cos 180 minus theta and this tan this minus y all over x can be written as tan 
80 minus what theta so from here to here the angle is 180 plus what theta so now let's look at sine 180 plus theta now you now need to form a triangle on this so now when you look at this the x-axis you have minus x let's say from here to here is x so you have minus x because it is along the negative axis then for y you have minus y because it's along the negative what axis here is one the hypothesis so now this will now be equal to this will be equal to now if you look at it you have y minus y to be opposite to the to the angle so you have minus y all over one which is equal to minus y so that means you have minus sine theta because according to because according to this so you now have minus sine theta so if you have sine sorry this is tan so this is minus so that means this is minus here this is minus here this is plus so now if that means if you have sine 180 plus theta it is equal to minus sine theta now for cos cos 180 plus theta is equal to the cos is adjacent this is adjacent all over hypothesis so now you have minus x divided by one so you have minus x and minus x is minus cos theta so cos theta is minus at the stored quadrant so now now if you look at tan then the next one so let's Now, if you look at the next slide, now let's go to the next slide. Now, for tan 180 plus theta, you have you have you have it to be minus y divided by minus x, which is minus divided by minus is plus so plus y all over x and that means you have tan theta so tan theta is positive here so you have tan 180 plus theta go to 180 go to tan theta so now although we are not supposed to write I'm supposed to write it like this let me see so let me make some correction let me make some correction here let me make some correction it's supposed to be sine 180 minus theta this is supposed to be cos 180 minus theta this is supposed to be tan 180 minus theta then here then here you have this is sine theta 
Then here is minus, so you have minus cos theta. Then here is minus tan theta. So just the same way here, you see here you have minus, you have minus sine theta. For this case where you have at the third quadrant, then cos theta you also have minus. Now you have now so on this you have is positive. So now let's look at the the last which is the the fourth uh, quadrant. Now you now draw this is the the angle. So the any angle that is more than two seventy but less than 360 then that angle falls on the fourth uh, quadrant now this is theta now we're going to draw a line like this so we have here to be minus y because this is zero if this is your y the positive y this is your positive x so here is plus x this one is one now if you look at it critically you will now see that if you look at it critically now this is theta so now let's look at it let's let me take off this you now have now sine now this angle is 360 minus what theta now because this is the whole of this is 360 one revolution is 360 but if you remove this theta it becomes 360 minus theta so any angle within this range is 360 minus theta so i will say sine 360 minus theta so this is the same thing as saying the minus y is adjacent to this angle so you have minus y all over what one so this is minus y so this is the same thing as saying minus sine theta so now let's look at cos theta cos 360 minus theta this will give you this will give us you have plus x divided by one so this will this is adjacent plus x is adjacent divided by one which is plus x so this is what we call cos theta so cos is positive here you can just put a positive sign there then now let's look at tan Let's look at tan theta. Let's look at tan theta, which is tan, tan theta. Tan, sorry, tan 360 minus theta. You have the opposite all over adjacent, which is minus y divided by x. So plus x. So this will give you minus y all over x. And this is equal to minus tan theta. So that is it. Now, from, from our conclusion, it shows that all is positive here, only sign is positive here, tan is positive here, y cos is positive here. So, it is called cast. Now, we're going to use this to begin to work out some of our problems. Now, you look at this, let's say for example, you have sine 110. If you look at this sine 110 is more than 90 but less than 180. So it falls on the second uh, quadrant. So it will just be sine. So what will you, so, so that it will not be sine 180 minus 70. So, and sine is positive here. So, since sine is positive here, it will be sine 
70 and sine 70 is what let's look at it here sine 70 is sine 70 Sine 70 is, is okay, 0 0.9397 from, from sine table. So now let's go back. So this is 0 0.9397. Now let's look at another problem. Let's look at another problem you have cause. Let's say you have cos, um, you have cos 1, 1, 10. Now, this cos 1, 1, 10 is the same thing as cos 180 minus 70. And this is, and you know, cos cosine is negative at the second quadrant. This is at the second quadrant. So it's negative there. You have minus cos 70. Now let's look at the table what it gives. You have minus what? Let's check. Let's look at the tables. Uh, this is sine. Okay, this is cosine. Let me see. This is tan. Uh, very fast. This is sine. This is cosine. So cosine 70 is uh, 0. Point Three four two so zero point three four two zero point three four two zero so now let's look at another problem now you have tan one ninety tan one ninety you look at it is more than one eighty so it should be on, uh, on the third quadrant so now you have tan 180 plus what 10 will give you 190 and add the so at the third quadrant tan is positive so you have tan 10 so tan 10 is what let's look at the table again let's look at the table let's look at the table This is um, tan 10 is 0 0.1763. Let's go back 0 0.1763. Now let's mm, let's check another question. Let's look at cos 250. Cos 250 is the same thing as 180 plus 70. So and cos this is it this is the third quadrant so cos is negative so you have minus cos 70 and cos 70 is this so you have minus 0 0.3420 now let's look at another problem um, let's look at another problem let's see you have sine 340 sine 340 is something as sine 360 minus 20 and sine this is the the fourth quadrant sine is negative there yeah, so you have minus sine 20 
So when you look at sign 20, what will it give us? What will it give us? Okay, there's no need looking at the table. You, you see, we have, I've shown how to look at the table. There's no need looking at the table. So now, sign, just get the value for sign 20 and that is it. And then the next one. Now, let's still bring that. We have call, sign, turn, and still, which is cast. So now, let's look at another problem. Let's say you have sign x equal to 0 0.25 and we are looking for the angle x between 0 and 360 between 0 degree and 360 so we are going to lose now we are going to look at now between 0 and 360 so sign is positive so sign is positive here is also positive here so that means it's two is these two quadrants now the first and the second quadrant so now let's look at you now say your x is equal to arc sine 0.25 now look at the table. Let's look at the table. So this is a sign table. Okay, this is C, the cosine table. So this is a sign table. Let's let's check here yeah, now let's get to where okay you have 0 0.2419 so we look out we look out for the numbers here okay it can be here this is more than 0 0.2504 so should be this value so we'll take 14.4 now we'll now take some values from here. If you if you add this 14 here, it will give you more than to give you 25 0, 0 0.2505. So 01. So now but if we use this. Okay, we we'll use this. We use this so it's 2498. 2498. So it's approximately correct. So 14.4. So it should be 14. 14.4. 14.4. Maybe. Now let's look at another let's look at another question. Let's say you have cos x to be equal to so you so since we have 14, 14 is for is when it is on the first quadrant. Now or when it is on the second quadrant, it will be 180 minus what 14.4. So this should be roughly 14.7. Let me just say 14.7. Now, if you subtract this, if you subtract it, it will give us what? 14. Point. It will give us this is the same thing as 165.53 degree. So these are the two options. So now you have course equal cos x equal to 0 0.3124 now we are asked to find x we have x to be equal to arc cos 0 0.3124 now cos is positive here and it's also positive so since this is a positive value now 
we have it at the first quadrant and the door and the fourth quadrant now let's check we have 0 0.3124 so let's look at it let's look at the table now you have you have sign this is sign okay this is more than the value we are looking for more than the value cost this is more than okay this is within the value three it's three zero point three one two four zero point three one two four you have 0 0.31 okay you got it here that's 71 point what you can call that 71 point 8 71.8 71.8 71.8 so So we have 71.8 degree then at that or now since it is positive here which is this then it's also positive here which is 360 minus 71.8 so this will roughly give us we roughly give us what 71.8 we roughly give us 288.12 so that means falls between this and this it, no, so that means this or this is the answer so no, that is it so now let's look at another problem Let's look at another problem. Let's say you have sine theta equal to minus let me say three seven one four minus zero point three seven one four and cos theta is negative value is negative so now what is theta now sign is negative then so the sign is positive here sign is positive here sign is negative here sign is negative here. now but cos is negative there so it should fall between these two so was cos is positive here so it should fall between the third quadrant so that means Theta will be you just say arc sine minus zero point three seven one four. So that should fall. So anything I look okay, now, it will not be let's say this is what I'll do. I will write it. I will just say one eighty plus arc sine 0.3714 so this angle plus this that will give me the angle where sine is negative cosine is negative which is at the third quadrant at the third quadrant you have 180 plus theta so what we we'll do we we'll look for theta and add 180 to it and theta should be what let's look at the table again let's look at the table you have three seven you have three seven one for sign let me see 
for sun. Sun. We look for three seven three seven. Okay, this is three seven. Okay, look at it. Three seven one four twenty one. Twenty one point what? Twenty one. Where is it? Twenty one. Twenty eight. Twenty one point eight. That is twenty one point eight. So the angle is twenty one point what eight. So if we add twenty one let's see the one eighty plus twenty one point eight, so this will give us eight point one zero two. So that is the answer for TT. That is the only answer for it. The only value for it. So, so that is it. So now we can now stop here. Thank you for watching to the end. Mm, let me see. It's like you've 